Hi guys, today I'll be talking about triple uh, five timer in a stable mode. So I'll be discussing LT spy simulation first. I'll be discussing LT spy simulation. I'll be discussing uh, theory portion. All right. So uh, let's start with theory portion now. This is basic circuit of triple five timer. Uh, right. Uh, let's have a pin diagram pin number 4 and pin number 8 is connected together and that is connected to the 5 to 15 volt VCC uh, R1 is connected to pin number 7 here uh, discharge pin number 2 and pin number 6 that is trigger and threshold are shorted together uh, right for a stable mode trigger and threshold uh, is shorted together right pin number 5 that is vs pin is connected to the uh, ground by using one decoupling capacitor okay so so uh, now let's have a look of uh, waveform here uh, this is a discharging time this is charging time of capacitor this capacitor c1 this is again discharging time this is again charging time likewise okay so uh, triple five timer has an internal comparator right it has an internal comparator it has two internal comparator the one is uh, inverting comparator then other one is a non-inverting comparator right so here so here you can have a look uh, here is voltage uh, is 2 by third of vcc that means capacitor c1 is charged to 2 by third of VCC okay right so now when it is discharging when it is discharging and uh, comes below 1 by third of VCC this comparator goes high okay so this comparator goes high then it again started charging when it is goes beyond now 2 by third of VCC this uh, goes low and again start discharging again goes high then low then high then low right so charging time is t1 and discharging time is t2 right so total time period is t so in a stable mode a stable mode triple five timer has no stable state right it has no stable state uh, it is uh, floating between high and low it is floating between high and low so now that is why it is called uh, is stable mode it has only two stable quasi pardon quasi stable state okay so now uh, here pin number three is output so you can connect your output uh, using pin number three right so uh, a stable triple five timer triple five oscillator charge and discharge time is t1 equals to this formula 0 0.693 into r1 plus r2 into c and discharging time t2 equals to 0 0.693 into r2 into c uh, right so charging and discharging times charging times depend on r1 r2 and c right and discharging time is only depend upon r2 and c r2 and c so uh, what is the total time total time is t1 and t2 that is total time is t1 and t2 that is also called a cycle time uh, if you add t1 and t2 you will get 0 0.693 into r1 plus 2r2 into c so what is uh, frequency what is the oscillator frequency now it is 1 by t equal right 1 by t equals to 1.44 divided by r1 plus 2r2 into c what is duty cycle now duty cycle is t on divided by t on plus t off right if you substitute here t on time and t off time you will get r1 plus r2 divided by r1 plus 2 r2 percentage so you can see here the duty cycle is only dependent on r1 and r2 it does not depend on 
capacitor okay capacitor so even so if you want to change your duty cycle in triple five timer you have to tune the value of r1 and r2 all right so here for my calculation uh, i assume r1 equals to 1k r1 this r1 equals to 1k r2 equals to 2k c2 equals c2 equals to 10 microfarad so if you calculate the charging time by using this equation you will get 20.79 millisecond if you calculate discharging time t2 by using this equation you will get 13.86 millisecond right i have uh, calculated here i have uh, calculated here by using the equation right so now what is the total time period t1 plus t2 that is that is equals to 30.34.65 millisecond what is the frequency frequency equals to 1 by t that is 28.86 hertz uh, right what is duty cycle duty cycle is a 60 percent t on divided by t on plus t off right uh, now let's have a look of simulation what we have calculated earlier in theory portion i'll demonstrate you in uh, lt spy simulation okay so let me run the transient analysis again so here is running 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 okay got it so let me zoom for you let me show you circuit what i have drawn so here is a LTS spy circuit here i have connected with 5 volt you can see i have connected c2 that is 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor the same value for r1 r2 and c i put it here r1 equals to 1k r2 equals to 2k c1 equals to 10 microfarad then threshold and trigger is shorted together okay right vcc is connected with 5 volt okay and vcc and reset is connected with the 5 volts CV is connected with 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor. For load here, for load here, I have connected one LED. Right? I have connected one LED. So now uh, I'll run the simulation. Okay, it is working fine, fine, fine. Okay, all right. Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. Okay, let me zoom it okay all right all set okay let me zoom it all set okay okay so let me show you by cursor using i have selected a cursor here this is uh, cursor one this is cursor two so there is a window here you can see this window the total time is 34.9 microsecond here what is your total time 34.65 that is coming approximate same 34.9 so what is now your t on time t on time is 20.8 what was coming here t on time 20.79 that is same let me show you t of time t of time right that is 14.13 it is it was coming here 13.86 that is approximate same okay what that is approximate same now i wanna show you i wanna show you what is frequency here that is 28.6 and what is frequency here 28.6 exactly coming the same what was uh, uh, we got in simulation so guys you have seen here the uh, theoretically calculated value is approximate as same as the simulated value okay hope you like this video if you like this video uh, please subscribe my channel and like share how as much as possible thank you so much see you in next lecture bye